Hello guys, welcome to my channel also welcome to a new video. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to set up TFC Flex for your product of final. So, a developer of this pro um, software has um, told me to make a tutorial video on this, so I'll be showing you how to set up on your product of final. Such as like easier to install with the one installation steps, such like that. But in this video, I'll be showing you the egg steps since that one's much um, easier and much easier to config. Such like that. So yeah, let's get into it. If you have a product to panel, then we can, we can continue watching this tutorial. But if you haven't, click on the card on the top right. So once you're on your administration uh, panel on your product to panel, go to the where it says nest and import egg. And here you go to the GitHub page for the Node.js um, generic egg. Download that, and you get that uh, file downloaded. Go back to your product to panel, click on egg, and click on the JSON you downloaded. Click that, associate nest can be anywhere, and click import. Now once that is imported, next up you're going to do is go to nodes, click in any of the um, nodes list you have. Click on that. Click on allocation, and then pretty much on the IP address is your public IP. Your IP address is your public IP as well, and your port will be 2000. That's the port you had to set it up. So yeah, be sure your port is set up to 2000. Once that is set up and you have that allocation created, go to the server and click create new server. And then on the server, you can name it to anything. So I'll call it TFC Flex. And then server owner will be your owner, owner name. Click on the nodes that you want to select, so it will be that 2000 port. And memory will give you at least 248. And then this size will be 1248. At least. At least at 10 gigs. If you want. And on the nest, pick on the nest that you selected. And then pick the egg. Be sure it says node.js generic. Uh, leave that as it is. And pretty much all you have to do is just click create server and now what that's creating the server now next we're gonna do is go to the website which will be all linked in the description go to release and then click on the source um, code click on that and now we'll insert the source code now once uh, back to your product panel click on this button which will lead you to the server panel and once your server is fully installed, you might see says like a uh, module not found, stuff like that. Don't worry about that. So next, once it's done, go to settings and you see it says server address. Be sure you have uh, FileZilla installed. So once you have FileZilla installed, all you have to do is just copy the server address to the FileZilla as so. Once you're connected to the, your server, all you have to do is go to your downloads. Be sure to extract the TFC Flex uh, files. Right click, click extract all, and then extract that file. Once you have the file extracted, all you have to do is control A, and then drag it to your server, and then just wait for it for the files to transfer it to the server. Once all the files is installed, all you have to do is simply go to the console and press start and hope everything will be all working. Now once your um, TFC Plex um, server is now running, it's simply just copy copy the server IP and then paste it into the panel, into the website. And there you go, you got this um, website right here. So, before we progress to here, we need to do some configuration with this console. So all you have to go is go to files and then go settings. Here we can do some configuration with our server. So basically, in here it says website secret. Be sure to change this to anything. So I type anything, anything secret, and then on the and the product um, panel, this is domain key, account key. On here, you type your panel name. So mine is called panel MC. You type your panel website. Be sure you put a, a forward slash on there, and then on the key, you're gonna first go to here, application key, then click create new. Be sure to put everything to read and write. And call this TFC, TFC flex. 
click create credentials and copy this. Make sure you copy that. Go back to your file management. Copy this and paste it. So this is like that. And now on the account key, all you have to do is um, click save. Go to account key. Go to API uh, confidential. And then type, type the description and click create. Copy this. Go back. And then go back to your file management. And then copy paste the account key. And also, if your account is an administrator, be sure to um, make make sure your account um, product account is an admin. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. So be sure that's all working. And now, pretty much all the stuff is pretty much done. But if you want to get your um, your egg working, so it's like you know you want to set up your thing. Be sure you have your um, package working. So in here is the egg section. Where you can change the um, the eggs in here, and such like that. So right here, this is the this is one egg right here. This is where you configure your egg. So if you want to change stuff like that, like the display, the RAM, the minimum, the maximum, info. Here it says egg. That's important. You make sure you change that. The Docker image is basically your Docker image, which is set up by your egg that you set up. And your startup is basically the startup command that you want to start up with the uh, egg and then the server jar and the build number be sure that be sure you um, read them through the um nest so in here we got nest and i got paper here all, all the things is already included with the egg so just be sure to like copy this or copy like uh, one of this stuff like that so for the egg you see the id says id2 be sure to go to file management and change the ID from here to 2 or any or whatever the number of your egg is according to your nest, nested egg and then pretty much all the packages that you don't want to deal with just simply just delete it and then once you got all those deleted or if you want to add more you can just simply copy paste this um, some example and then expand it to save that and then if you want to change the location of your package you can just change the name of the package the location is based on the location of your thing so it's like id1 and then you get your nodes stuff like that basically but the nodes is like automatic so it depends so it depends how many um allocated ip you have it will be set based on how many um i um allocation um ids you have in your server if you have like in here you got like for example in here you got like three um two three spots that will fill it up if you're trying to create a server using that location example another one so it's like if there's like two space here it will fill it up also but if you run out all the allocation um, slots then that then your client would not um able to create a new server so be sure you have make sure you create them manually so once that's set up you can simply just create create a new server location based on your location ID and then pretty much just um, stop it and then click start again and this will um, just reboot the entire client maybe it's like error like something like expected stuff like that just simply just trying to fix the jar on the where is this that know this just fix it somewhere if there's like any misses to do that fix that and there you go and once you got that right running go back to here just please restart and click on the client and if you got this arrow that says client id but it's not snowflake then we are at let me missing a step so for that to for to, to fix that all you have to do is go um go back to your um panel click on files and then on settings and then we need to find that says um, Discord. Under where it says um, bot, that's where we're gonna put the Discord. Oh, no. Under where it says authentication oh, oh, um, two, that's where we're gonna put all the stuff when we need to log into the Discord server. Um, Discord. So all you have to do is, if you have an existing um, application on Discord, just go to authentication two, and then on here you're just gonna copy the client ID. 
as well as the secret ID. So pretty much here it says ID, you copy the ID here and the client secret you copy in here. So once you copy your secret on your authentication, all you have to do is go back to your Discord dev, add a redirect and be sure to copy the redirect here to the redirect right here. And make sure you add callback on at the end of the callback so right there. And click create save to save changes. And that's pretty much done. Be sure to set the prompt to true. And also be sure to copy the um, make sure you replace the link to your IP according to your um, client um, ID. IP. So be much it pretty much looks like this. So once that's done, click save content, click on stop and start again and once that's up again click on the link click on client and it should show up this and once this is show up click on authorize and this will authorize you to um, log in and pretty much that's it so if you're wondering how to get admin access into here so all you have to do is pretty much go to here and click on here and go back to the user and you see your discord's uh, email and you have your username id stuff like that all you have to do is click on here and select your administrator to no to yes update that and go back to your client click your um account and click log out click on client again click authorize and this will um log you in and there you go you got the admin panel which says control panel Click on that and you get all your flex version and stuff like that. So you get all the stuff like the resources, plan, and pretty much if you want to set how many, um, set your account or any specific Discord user ID, all you have to do is just go here, go to user, copy the user name, which is your, the Discord ID, and pretty much here and then just like what, um, plan send one and stuff like that. And click submit and yeah, pretty much that's all you have to do. So if you want to go back to your dashboard, go back to the dashboard. If you want to increase it, you can increase it such like, such like that. And so, to create a server, all you have to do is go to your server, click on the plus button, click my server, you can just name it test and stuff like that. Add one or one, or how many you want, select the location you want, and the egg. And after that, click on deploy. If it says the utilize resources, just go on control panel, such like that. Click on resources, enter the Discord username ID, which will be your ID. Copy and paste that. Give as many as you want. You don't if you're an admin, you don't need to worry about how many you can make and stuff like that. Click apply and there you go. Back to dashboard and you can see you have like how many CPU you have, RAM and such like that. So now we can test if you can create a server. So click a plus button, name it to anything. Click a uh, Hummy CPU, RAM, and disk, and click on deploy server. And there you go, you got your test server deployed, and click on control. That will go lead to your console, and then there you go. You got your client panels all work, running and working now. So yeah, that's pretty much all the basic steps of how you do it. Like, all the configuration is in the settings. So yeah, pretty much that's all you, all the setup for the, yeah, Cplex. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.